Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. Start with rectangle ABCD. Construct triangle BEF with E along CD and F along AD. Now let's label the four areas of these triangles. Suppose that DEF has an area of S, BCE has an area of S plus 1, ABF has an area of S plus 2, and BEF has an area of S plus 3. So we have a rectangle divided into four triangles whose areas are shown. What is the value of S? The first time I saw a problem like this, I thought it was impossible to solve. It just doesn't seem like there's enough information to figure out the relationship between these areas. But there's an interesting formula that's general for this sort of problem. If you have an inscribed triangle in a rectangle, let's say that this inscribed triangle has an area equal to W, and the remaining three triangles have areas of X, Y, and Z. We will show in this video that W is equal to the square root of X plus Y plus Z squared minus 4XY. And once we know that, we can substitute in the values for W, X, Y, and Z and solve for S. So let me have a majority of this video on just proving this formula. Let's get started with the triangle which has an area equal to Y. One of its sides is equal to a side of the rectangle, and let's say that side has a length equal to A. Suppose the other leg of this triangle is equal to C. We have a rectangle, so we know this is a right triangle, and we know that its area is equal to AC divided by 2. This will be equal to Y. We can solve for C by multiplying both sides of the equation by 2 over A. So C is equal to 2Y over A, and let's substitute that in. Suppose the other side of the rectangle has a length equal to B. If we subtract 2Y minus A, we will get B minus 2Y over A. Now let's take a look at the triangle which has an area that's equal to X. Suppose the other side length is D, and we know that one side length is equal to a side of the rectangle which is equal to B. We do the same sort of calculation. The area of this triangle is equal to X. We know that's equal to 1 half B times D. So we can solve this equation for the variable D. We multiply both sides of the equation by 2 over B, and we get that D is equal to 2X over B. So let's substitute that in. We know that this side of the rectangle has a length equal to A, so the remaining length on this side will be A minus 2X over B. So finally, we have one more triangle, and we know that this triangle's area is equal to Z. So let's focus on this triangle. We know one half the product of its legs will be equal to Z, so we end up with this equation. Let us focus on this equation and simplify it. The first thing we will do is we'll multiply both sides of the equation by 2. Let us now expand the binomial. The product of the first two terms is AB. The product of the inner terms will be minus 2x. The product of the outer terms will be minus 2y. And the product of the last terms will be plus 4xy divided by AB. This is all equal to 2z. Let's now set one side of the equation equal to 0 by subtracting 2z from both sides of the equation. From these three terms, we can factor out a 2. So we have minus 2 times the sum of x, y, and z. Now let's multiply both sides of the equation by ab. ab times 0 will be equal to 0. And on the left-hand side, we will distribute ab across three terms. So we have ab times ab, AB times this group term, and then in the final term, AB will get eliminated in the denominator. So AB times AB will be equal to AB squared. Here we have an AB that will just add on to this factor. And finally, the AB will get rid of the AB in the denominator, so we're just left with 4XY. So let's look at this equation. It looks like a complicated equation, but we can do a substitution. Think about AB as just one term. If AB squared is one term, so we have something squared minus AB times a constant factor plus a constant is equal to zero, why this is nothing more than a quadratic equation in the variable AB. So we can then use Brahmagupta's quadratic formula. We can solve that AB 
is equal to the opposite of this middle term plus or minus the square root of this middle term squared minus four times the product of the coefficient on AB squared times the constant term 4xy. And this will all be over two times the coefficient on AB squared, which will be equal to two. How can we simplify this? Notice we have a four here and a four here. We can pull this outside the square root and that will be equal to two. We then have a factor of two, which will cancel out. So we just have AB is equal to X plus Y plus Z plus or minus the square root of the square of X plus Y plus Z minus 4XY. Now let's go back to our original diagram. A was one side of the rectangle and B was another side. Now we know this middle triangle has an area equal to W from the given information. So AB represents the area of this entire rectangle. But AB can also be expressed as the sum of the areas X plus Y plus Z plus W. So we have two different expressions for the area of the rectangle. That means we have X plus Y plus Z plus or minus something, and then we have X plus Y plus Z plus W. The only way this is possible is if W is equal to this other term. We also know that W represents a triangle area, so we need this to be greater than zero. So we just take the positive square root. Therefore, W is equal to the square root of the square of X plus Y plus Z minus 4XY. And we've proven the formula. We now just need to return to the original question. We had that X was equal to S plus 1, Y was equal to S plus 2, Z was equal to S, and W was equal to S plus 3. We substitute those into the equation, and we end up with the following. So all we need to do is solve for S in this equation. So let's just simplify this equation. We have S plus 1 plus S plus 2 plus S. This will simplify to be 3S plus 3. We can then square both sides of the equation, expand the binomial on the left, then expand the binomial in the center. Let us now focus on this equation. Let's expand the group term on the right-hand side and distribute the 4. Now we just need to group like terms. We have 9s squared minus 4s squared, which will be 5s squared. Then we need to subtract s squared, and that will leave us with 4s squared. Let's just cross out the terms so that we know we've accounted for them. We then have 18s minus 12s, which will be 6s. And then we subtract 6s, so that will all cancel out to be 0s. So we'll just cancel out the s terms. Finally, we have 9 minus 9 minus 8. This will be equal to minus 8. And this is all equal to 0. So we have a tremendously simple equation. 0 is equal to 4s squared minus 8. Divide both sides of the equation by 4. Then we have s squared is equal to 2. We need a positive value because we're representing an area. And that means s is equal to the positive square root of 2. And that's the answer to this very interesting and challenging geometry problem. Wow. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.